You should be recording, Ellen. What? You look like Ellen DeGeneres with your haircut. How? Look at your hair! It just screams Ellen. Short? <laughs> your hair's yeah. short too there, Ellen. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Ellen is a nice person. She is a wonderful woman! What's going on guys? It is the Phantom Michael and I'm bringing you episode number 29 of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Let's Go Eevee Go Lock Challenge. Today, and I am of course joined with the one, the only, DJ Spinda. What's going on guys? DJ Spinda here. Yeah, and on the uh, last episode you guys, we uh, had a go battle. We uh, did, did we? some I don't off remember. screen grinding <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. No, no, the yeah. last episode we did, uh, we did the fighting dojo, right? Oh, we did. You are correct. Mm -hmm. But I remember that I have Surf, so I'm gonna talk to this guy real quick and see what happens. Hello there! I've been watching you walk right past me this whole time, and I was hoping you'd come to visit me someday. I was really lonely. Why did I make a pond right in front of my house? <laughs> Just going for a walk is troublesome. I was so short-sighted when I was young. I was so stupid. 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 I was such an idiot! I was so stupid. Sorry for my constant drinking, but I stupid I was. <laughs> Yo, Dylan. What up? I found a fairy killer. Oh, did you get a poison-type move, did I you? I did. I got a really good one. Ah, good for me. I don't have any fairy-types on my team. What are you talking about? You're a f there we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, we gotta do a team recap. Oh, we do. Let's do it. I'll kick it off because <laughs> it's my episode. All right. No, it's not. <laughs> Up first, we have Dragonite from our Pokemon Go using one of my goat. Dude, Dragonite is 575 pounds. Dang, he's hefty, wow. huh? Uh, Dragonite, of course, is with Waterfall, Dragon Tail, Thunderbolt, and Fly. Up next, we have Fauna, the Venusaur to protect Petonet's Toxic Leech Seed. And then we got Drago, the Charizard Fire Spin, Fly, Smoke Screen, Ember. And then we have a Yellow Jacket, the Beedrill, Poison Jab, U-Turn, Drill, Run, Outrage. And then we got Comics, the Blastoise with Bite, Brick Break, Dragon Tail, Waterfall. And we have Chompers, the Alolan Raticate with Hyper Fang, Sucker Punch, Protect, and Crunch. Hmm. All right, I suppose I better do mine then, huh? I suppose. All righty. First up, we have Longoria. The Pokemon Go received a uh, Alolan Executor at level 38 with Psychic, Mega Drain, Stun Spore, and Dragon Tail. And then we've got Cheeks, our starter, the Pikachu, at level 44 with Thunderbolt, Splishy Splash, Floaty Fall, and Double Kick. And then we got Houdini, the great and powerful uh, Alakazam, level 44, with Psychic, Psybeam, Shadow Ball, and Calm Mind. And then we got Letosh, the Charizard, level 45, with Fire Spin, Dragon Rage, Fly, and Fire Punch. And then we got Tatiana, the uh, Gyarados, level 42, with Waterfall, Thunderbolt, Crunch, and Outrage. And then finally, we have Xavier the Golem, level 45, with Rock Slide, Stealth Rock, Earthquake, and Sand Attack. Cool. Yes, sir. All right, are you ready to go on to this Silthco company? I'm already in, dude. Let's um, get it. I got my Ali Kazam. Oh, following. I forgot. We oh, did. Oh wow. What? Yeah, we did the blue battle and all that. Man, it's been so long since we played. I know. It's that been was a the hot battle. Minute, the last battle we did was against Blue. I remember. Yep, because one of us, yeah, they was making a plan or something. Dude, yeah. the portals in this look amazing. They look so cool. Dude, I'm so honestly. I know. There's a lot of people who are a lot further in the game than me and you are. Like, have already beaten the game. Of course, yeah. But we're still yep. seeing this stuff for the first time. Because I haven't, like, jumped ahead and, you know, tore the game up. This is the first time I've actually waited to completely just run through a yeah. Pokemon game. You know, I actually, um, I want, I was just going to play through the game on my other profile. But I'm way further on this profile now than I am on that original one. And the weird thing is, um... I, well, the reason for that is mostly because I have a ton of other games I've been playing lately. Like, you know, Smash Ultimate come out, and I started playing that a bunch. Red um, Dead Online. Red Dead 2 is out, and I've been playing that. 
Uh, I've been off and on going back to some other games I haven't finished yet. Like, I've been going back to, like, God of War and and uh, Spider-Man. I've been going to a couple of those games and playing. Did the DLC um, for Spider-Man drop yet? It did. It actually did today. Uh, I've seen some people putting reviews of it out. I haven't had a chance to look at it myself. But I should get it downloaded and pop back on that baby. I might be... I honestly might be playing some Spider-Man after this, like, a little later tonight. I think before I go to bed for the night, I'm going to hop on some... Red Dead, because I have yeah. not been on Red Dead Online to collect my little uh, gift. Oh, see, so yeah, I've been on since then, but I haven't, I actually haven't played it in probably a week or so now. Really? Yeah. Yeah. The last time I played it, I played with Devin, and it was a late night one. We played till like three in the morning or some crap like that. Goodness. <laughs> and, uh, and even then we weren't ready to quit. Devin, Devin and I were just having lasso wars and stuff, you know. The huge. Yeah, I want to see all the new patches and stuff they got fixed. Or yeah, whatever. and they um, I heard there's gonna be some new stuff dropping in in the uh, open world here eventually. That's kind of um, awesome. Yeah, I, well, they, they, you know the crazy thing is, is they're still dropping really cool stuff for GTA 5 still. Yeah, so um, you can only imagine what they're gonna do for Red Dead. Yeah, because, like, they just released something, like, a week ago or something. And some new game mode for GTA V, and it looks amazing. It's like a, um, like a mixture. It, it's a race, a new race they added, but it looks like a mixture of, like, dirt and, um, and, like, Mad Max or something like that. Hmm. Like, it's, it's kind of crazy. Interesting. So, looking forward. So, I, you know, I, I never hop on GTA V anymore, but I really should. Because there's just so much stuff to do in that game. Right. Um, we talked about the reason why I couldn't record over my three-day weekend was because I went, I went to go see my family. Um, I talked to my brother-in-law, who actually bought Fallout 76. Yeah. He said the game is absolutely amazing. Oh, that's um, a that, new opinion. Right, and that's what I was, I was like. Wow, I thought I thought it was pretty much like well received that everybody just thought it was trash but he said or and that's because I, a lot of copies that i've seen it would like kept bugging out or crashing on them mm -hmm. right but he said his copy never once bugged out never crashed never did anything well see that game is known i mean just a lot of the like the the fallout games are known for the like weird glitches and stuff that happens all the time but the downfall of that game that like that i've seen as a consensus from everyone is that it's literally a copy and paste of fallout 4 there's there's no um just the world is way emptier in comparison to fallout 4 and there's just nothing to do hmm. and then it charges 60 dollars to play yeah now i'd play i'd play fallout 3 co-op Yeah, I played Fallout 4 a little bit. I, I'm not really a Fallout guy. Um, I stuck with Skyrim for as long as I did just because of the um, the fantasy aspect of it. More so than the, the, oh, the empty wasteland world. It was just a little too empty and a little too wasteland for me. I just kind of... Honestly, the most fun I had in Fallout 4 was creating my character. I made like three different characters because there's so much customization. I was like, dude, this is crazy. Right. Now, do you feel... Why do you think... Let, let me ask you this question. Why do you think we don't have Sky, multiplayer Skyrim? Well, I mean, there's... ESO, which is basically no, no, no. what that's supposed I'm to be. I'm talking like the, the exact game Skyrim. Okay, tell me right now. If someone said I had a way to play co-op up to four people on Skyrim, what would you do? Well, I mean, I'd play it like most of you know. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm just, I'm just curious of the fact that um, I don't know if you remember this, but a couple years ago, someone posted a video that they had actually hacked or they did some some kind of mod to Skyrim, and they made it co-op. Mm -hmm. And it was online for like a little bit, but they shut it down really quick. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Just because I think that Skyrim's company knows that if a multiplayer version of Skyrim, because Skyrim right now is still, what is it, the leading, it's been, it's been for PS3, 
PS4, Xbox, Xbox 360, uh, PC, um, Switch. Switch now. They say that Skyrim has the most sales, like across all platforms, like has sold more copies of any other video game. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, it's sold, uh, you know, so many copies on like 10 different systems, you know. Right. Before, before you know it, they'll make an 8-bit version of it and put it on Super Nintendo. Like, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> they, they they literally said that Skyrim... It, like, every time a new a new copy drops, they sell thousands. Or millions. Yeah, I, I, I can believe it. So that just, that just, like, puts in the question of, like, why not have multiplayer Skyrim? Yeah. Because no one would play anything else, maybe? I don't know. Well, I, I think that the game, I think the engine that the game runs on is a little outdated. Actually, I think it's a lot outdated. Right. Um, and I think they've got, I mean, a big, like, final Skyrim they're gonna be, that they've been in the works since, like, 2013. You know, like, something huge. It's kind of like, it's gonna be, like, the, the massiveness of what GTA 6 eventually will be. You know what I mean? Right. But we won't be seeing a GTA 6 for probably five years yet because... They're gonna put it on, you know, whatever next gen console there is, and on top of that, they just released Red Dead 2, which is gonna be the the, the big thing for the next five years or more. Right. You know, so I think it's that kind of situation. Like I think Bethesda's kind of uh, worn out of the Elder Scrolls franchise, so I think they're just gonna like make one big smash of a game that has like a single player story mode and then like a multiplayer co-op, just like Red Dead or. GTA, you know, where it's you play your main game and then you got the big online, you know. Right. And I'd be fine with that. I'm ready. I'm ready for some new franchises to come up because you know, there comes a point in gaming where you're like every game that comes out is, is like the next installment of an already established franchise. Right. To the point where all of a sudden every game that's coming out is stuff you've already seen, you know, like. <laughs> Pokemon Red and Blue. <laughs> right? Yeah, I know, I know. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, every game that comes out is just a continuation of something that's already been established. Right. And it's like, well, what's the what are, what's the point? What are we playing for? Like, I want to see something new, fresh, and exciting that comes out. Like, you know, like, look at the games that have come out this year. I can, I can already name, like, there's Call of Duty Black Ops 4. There's, you know, Red Dead Redemption 2. There's Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, and all these... It's just like there's like ten franchises and they just keep making a new game. You know, you right. got Smash Bros. Ultimate and you know, and, and any game that is new and fresh is usually an indie game and sometimes they do well, but sometimes they're just kinda not up to snuff, you know, but then you got people who make stuff like Horizon Zero Dawn that is it's it is a new fresh game, but at the same time it reminds you of a million other games from other franchises anyway, so it's nothing that new. Right. But. I've got a poisoned Longoria over Ooh, here. Ooh, I'm glad you said the word poison because I forgot my Dragonite was poisoned. <laughs> here I am saving your butt again, Michael. You, you did. You dang sure did. I got a bunch of pewter crunchies. I got two. That's like my favorite thing to say, pewter crunchy. Pewter look munchies. All, look at all of the items. I just found five Pokeballs within one Pokeball. <laughs> See, I'm not going through any of the warp tiles until I've beaten every every trainer on the outside of the doors. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, I beat the all the trainers on the first the first floor, and then I went started going through portals, and now I'm just kind of battling them as I run into them. The reason um, why I've always done that, like playing red, is just because whenever you start going through portals and you start unlocking doors and stuff, you don't accidentally run into somebody that you could have easily have taken. Had you have explored all the rooms. Who's this feller? What? I work for Stealth Co. What am I to do? Uh, work? Pay Duh. me. <laughs> Pay me to keep living. Let's go to the next floor. What do we got behind door number two? There's a trainer in here. It's a Pikachu. And there's an item in here. A dire hit! Dude, I, you know, I, I don't know why I bought that new game today. Like, it's it's fine and all, it's cool. I mean, I haven't played much of it yet. Right. But, um, I, just thinking about it now, I was like, I've got, like, ten games that I have not finished yet that I really want to. 
what? One, of the, one of those being God of War, which is fantastic. Which is another one that, that follows my same point. Right. We got God of War this year. That's just a reimagining of Dylan, look what uh, I found. the same franchise. What'd you found? This picture is the uh, the altar in Gen 4 right here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, where you find Polka and Dialga. Right Schnazzy. And Nintendo's it kind of gives really you that, about... that diamond and pearl look to it, too, with that bluish and blue and purple. Yeah. Hmm. Huh, we got an electrode coming out here. I suppose I can earthquake him. What is this guy doing here? What? Who the heck is this guy? I hope this guy explodes. He won't even touch Xavier. Dude, we should have done this a while ago because everything here is level 30 and I'm like level 45. You ain't wrong. <laughs> you ain't like, wrong. This is just a waste of our time what? at this point. Yeah. They're getting annihilated. Yeah, ain't nothing in here knocking anybody out. <laughs> Says that dies. <laughs> Destiny Bond. Ah! Destiny Bond Haunter. I would quit. <laughs> Have you Destiny ever Bond. thought about doing a sleep lock? No, not even. It hasn't even crossed my mind. Man, I, I want to, but I get really tired sometimes. Oh, I finally see that picture you were talking about. Nothing yeah. happens when you click on it. I was hoping for some fancy message or a song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what? Okay, so let's talk about. Let's get into Pokemon real quick. Did mm -hmm. you? Did you watch the ruffled Rowlet Verlicify little bickering match that happened? I didn't watch it. I saw it pop up, and I was like, oh, I could maybe humor them for a little bit by watching it, but I decided not to last minute. I had so, other things to do. <laughs> so this this is what I see. Okay, so I I didn't watch Verlicify's video first. I watched ruffled Rowlet's response to Verlicify's video first. Yeah, well, that's because I don't follow. Yeah, I was the same way. I, I saw ruffled Rowlet's video but I didn't see any of Verlicify's because I don't follow him and I'm not subscribed to him, so. I, I subbed to Verlicify, um, just because he, I don't know why, I don't even watch his videos, but I am subbed to him. Um, but, so, pretty much, Ruffled Rowlet, Ruffled Rowlet's argument is that he put a whole bunch of watermarks on his thing just to get Verlicify, like, to get him triggered by it. Because Verlicify is like a hypocrite, I guess, when it comes to certain things. Of course, um, yep. yep. For example, oh, your thumbnail, your your thumbnails are clickbaity. Your titles are clickbaity. Your, yeah, uh, like all this stuff like that, which clearly they they need to be to survive on YouTube, you know. Nowadays, and like, yeah. Me and you do YouTube for more like a hobby than a source of income. So, yeah, I mean, would we like to do it as a source of income? Sure, but maybe. Oh, hey, I see the tower from Gen 2 in this picture. Oh, cool. cool. But, um... Anyway, so he was kind of... Um, Ruffled Rowlet was kind of just talking about how Verlicify is very hypocritical, says all this stuff, but yet does it himself. That mm -hmm. Ruffled Rowlet says that he, there's not a single video of his where he doesn't post where he finds all his information. So, like gives credit to the people who actually like discovered what he's talking about you know what i mean yeah gotcha verlicify has a whole bunch of videos that has nothing as far as like shared links to the people that gathered the information yeah so that's kind of what they just displays it and that's right it. right doesn't give credit where credit's due is the essential so I thought that was pretty interesting, man. Um, it's not the first time that's happened. Like that's oh, kind of his thing. Like, yeah. oh yeah, you're right. There is the Gen Two Tyrus here. Yeah. Can I have this Pokemon? Yeah, that uh, that Porygon there. I'm trying to. Jeez, so many Voltorbs, man. Wow, this dude just said he created Porygon. Oh, really? 100 percent. Oh, oh, I found story stuff. Oh, shoot. You're I'm, actually okay. on the floor that I found the story stuff at. Oh, perfect. Yeah. This was you with your British accent. 
Oh, it's that blue haired feller? It's Archie. Archie? Archie. Mm, Archie. Remember the Ginyu Force? Uh, yeah. Who was your favorite character on the Ginyu Force? I was always a little bit edgy when I was a teenager, so I would say that, like, based on pure edginess, I always kind of liked Jace. Me too, bro. Austra his Australian Me. accent and the long, long white hair. Yes. <laughs> he, him, and then the the dude who was like the green, that was like uh, Mr. Mr. Pretty, and then he his like form turns him into like a giant oh, looking um, lizard monster. Yeah, yeah, um... Zar Zarbon, Zorbon? Zarbon, it is Zarbon, yes. Dude, he, that I, I is, liked, that is cool. I, I liked Bercher, too. He was the tall blue one, um, yeah. and he was, like, super fast. Yeah. I love how you teleport in this, it's so cool. I haven't teleported Where? yet. Okay. The man next to me, he's such a coward. Go oh, to nice. the stairs. Oh, dear, oh, dear, please help me. Find some uh, stairs. Uh, I don't see any stairs, Michael. Turn, turn around. Go to the stairs, or I'm gonna read it, the dialogue for you. They're, they're up this way. Yes. Well, I'm gonna have to battle this rocket trainer. Turn around. Go the other way. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta cleverly avoid this fella. Go, go, Galad Ninja. Uh. Are these trainers? These bystanders? Let's keep walking past them. Well, they're not trainers. Okay. These stairs? Yes. Go down. Oh, you said... What? I gotta go down? Go down. Jeez. I tell you what. Look for the room that... Look for the floor that has the blue walls. Like this greenish teal colored wall? That's the room. Keep going left. I, well, I'm gonna have to battle this guy. No, no, yeah, ba you have to battle him. Oh, okay. You have to battle him. Let's it. do it. Look at that. Look at that hair. It's on fleek, my friend. It's on fleek. So, what? We're what? almost done with this game, too, bro. Yeah, we got a ways to go yet. We're more than halfway done. We are more than halfway done, for show. For shizzle, my nizzle. So, did you hear about the soldier boy? <laughs> dude, I have two videos on my YouTube watch later, so I can understand what is going on. Dude, he is so screwed. Oh my goodness. What did he it's, do? He made his own console called so Soldier Boy Gaming System or something. And all it is is it's a ripoff of a Japanese off-brand gaming console or something, gaming handheld. And all of, all that's on it is nothing but ROMs of like Nintendo games and stuff. So it's like highly illegal. It's just a big illegal ROM console, and its frame rate is like like six frames a second. Like it's really bad. And he's selling them for like. He's selling the main console for a hundred bucks a piece, and then he made a mini version that sells for like sixty-five for seventy bucks or whatever. And then he made an actual like console, like a little console or whatever, and that sells for like three hundred bucks. What? It, <laughs> yeah. What? It was pretty bad. I have not like I have them, but I I thought it was like a not a gimmick, but like a. Just something. So I didn't believe the stupidity. So he's yeah, about to be sued. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's actually looking at multiple years of jail time. Oh god. Yeah. You know, you know what's really funny that that this whole Soldier Boy thing I brought up like a month ago before any of this stuff stuff started popping up, right? Mm -hmm. I like got on YouTube and I was like, let's check out like early 2000 songs, you know? Gotcha, and you found Soldier Boy? Bro, Soldier Boy popped up about the 2008, 2009 stuff. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I was like, what happened to him now? <laughs> now you said, know. <laughs> he's still worth a couple million dollars. 
and then yeah yeah well now he's about to be worth uh negative three dollars um <laughs> i don't know if you follow john tron but he made a video about him today it's yeah pretty funny Jeez. yeah it's avoid the comical. circle yeah i know i will i'm just uh i think i need to heal oh that's bit. nice i did heal but okay you did or didn't did not <laughs> nice because I'm not a pansy. Uh, I don't feel like losing my Alolan Executor, bro. Oh, you're going to lose it next time we have a go battle. Yeah, if I use him, huh? You should. All right, well, let's do this. This is all you, my friend. <clears throat> you. Whoa. Cut wow, screen. that was a lot. Oh, there's a grunt. <laughs> what? What is it, Mr. Archer? You, you know that kid? Dang it, man, the voice acting. <laughs> huh? Phantom? You know that old guy? <laughs> so you're fool enough to get in our way, is that it? What brave little boys. Wait, aren't they the ones who are getting in our way? <laughs> what? Not, not even Mr. Archer saying you're in his way, all right. You want to go home in tears or what? Calm yourself. This is a lady. I'll teach these. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll teach these children a good lesson. Whoa, dude, you sounded I super actually... edgy with that last part line. Yeah, I honestly I like, really Ooh. like. I honestly really like that voice in comparison to what I was doing before. I think you it's were a like double a double battle. Wasn't oh. prepared. Oh, and we got our. Oh goodness gracious! He took the cue bone. Oh, this is gonna be a disaster and a half. Well, I'm switching to... Of course Muck would protect. Of course. I'm going to predict the first turn protect. And hopefully he goes... He went something. explosion first turn. Wow. I'm so glad I healed. So glad wow. I healed. Wow. They went protect explosion, dude. And it didn't do a yep, diddly squat. Yep, it did. Self-destruct. Come on. Come on, Venusaur. At wasted. Wasted. Now I will say this though. A Lolan um a Lolan Golems explosion is deadly. Really? Because a Lolan Golem has an ability that um any Pokemon or any normal type move that it uses becomes an electric type move. Oh, Bro. snap. Stab, stab explosion? Stab explosion. Physical, too, I'm sure. Bro. Oh, my gosh. Flamethrower? Are you serious? No. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Bro, you better shut your mouth. <laughs> oh, man. And your focus good. energy. You're, you're a ground type. Dude, and he's going for it. Okay, so you remember when you're... Oh, wow, okay, so... <laughs> remember when your Eevee cured itself of poison? Yeah. My my golem just did that. Just cured himself of poison, because he's like, Nah, I don't feel like being poisoned right now. Bro, I swear that is so broken. <laughs> that is so broken. <laughs> nah, oh, I, well, I just don't feel like being poisoned anymore. Sorry. I'm, I'm going to kill my partner here pretty soon. Actually, the flamethrower will probably do it. Yeah, I think he's about on. to explosion again. Well, I'm earthquaking, because that's... That's my best play right now. But this darn uh, muck keeps keeps using protect over here. But wheezing's done, so I don't have to worry about that explosion. Yeah, I got a wheezing wet. See, I have to... I have pedal dance. I don't know if pedal dance will kill, though. I doubt it. <laughs> I can't toxic. Of course not. I'm going to leech seed muck. I'm just going to go with that. I can't be Ooh, one shot. He's got a he's got a Pidgeot as his other Pokemon. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right, now I got loot two Leech Seeds up. Dude, we are way over leveled in this part of the game right now. You're not. Wrong. Every, everything here is like level 35, and I'm sitting here rocking out at 46. A uh, minimize. Okay, so now I got two two Leech Seeds going. Which 
which is really cool. Really, really fly. The fly kind of guy. Okay, now oh, I'm oh. about to switch into... About to switch into Blast Toys. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, you betcha. Oh, yeah, is ya? Sucker Punch, what a bum. Sucker Punch you right in the throat, huh? Right in the kisser. How right in the kisser? Did you ever watch uh, Letter Kenny? Say what? Letter Kenny, uh, letter, yeah, Letter Kenny problem. No, never heard of it. It's a, like a Canadian comedy skit type channel that was on YouTube. Huh. No. It was, it, it, remember that song? Just going out for a rip, are you, bud? Just out for a oh, rip. Pfft. Yes. Kind of oh like my that. god, I hated that crap. Kind of like that. You don't, huh? You didn't like Out for a Rip? <laughs> no. No. Why I, not? Dude, I grew up in a redneck town, so like... You going out that for was, a rip? Mine that's not a uh, redneck town. I grew up in Surrey, bro. Oh, okay. That's a redneck town. <laughs> you ain't wrong. <laughs> yeah, you like, ain't that's wrong. full of a bunch of hicks. In a hick town. That's where I grew up, man. I had to move because I was a Pokemon fan. I was shunned. Yeah. <laughs> you were exiled. Excommunicated. <laughs> if you like anything other than tractors, you're fired. You're fired from school. <laughs> Dude, mine has a Raichu. Yeah, mine did. Oh, oh, oh your buddy had a Raichu. Yeah, mine switched into a Pidgeot, which was pretty fly. Pretty, pretty fly! I feel like he has intended. a team of six and he just threw out whatever was the best Pokemon for him. I mean, it's possible. I should for kill me, his there was you. there was a Muck and a... Uh, there was a Muck and a Golbat, I believe. And then he mm -hmm. sent out his Pidgeot and bada boom bada bing. Pidgeot didn't matter because I right. destroyed everybody with Rock Slide. You sent him to a better place. Oh, yes. I buried him, you might say. Buried him. I dig it done buried him. Yeah, I'll have to do a little video, guys, on my new computer layout setup here. I've got two monitors now. and uh, Count them. Count them. Two. <laughs> <Monitor. Marshmallows. laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got a heck of a setup. Oh, he's got a nut. I've only seen four Pokemon. Oh, my. That's what. Okay. What's up, man? I've been letting my beard go lately, and it's getting pretty thick, man. Yeah? Yeah. Kind of looking like a goofer. No, I'm looking like a man. Like a goofy goober. Wow. Looking like a shed of penguin, you know what I mean? He finished up his Duelist of the Roses series yeah. uh, just yesterday, yes. Well, he, he like half finished it. There is a second half of the game, but he decided not to play that right now because he already had uh, Zelda playthrough in the works ready to go. So, nice. Yeah, he's doing all this, all this Nintendo stuff now that Nintendo has released their grips on, on people using their content, so... Hmm. Did you hear about that? Yeah, I did, actually. Yeah, you... so Shady's quite excited about it. Yeah, I would be too, man. Zelda's an awesome franchise. Are you going to read this Archer quote? Oh, yeah, are you done? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if it wasn't just a stroke of luck that let you beat me last time, I understand now. We'll have to be more careful about you. Uh, out of my way! Uh, ow! Dustin ow. says. Ow! <laughs> I like the emotes. <laughs> I know, like, <laughs> Hey, look, the grunt dropped something. I got the card key. <laughs> hey, look at us sneaky buggers. I'm breaking in your window, snatching Let your people up. People up. Let's do it. Bingo. Now, now I have the card key. Now. Now nothing can stop me. <laughs> now I I'm go. honestly, I'm honestly going to avoid, I'm going to swerve some of these trainers because, let's be real, like, I don't, they're not doing anything for me other than just wasting my time. I'm getting all the money. All the oh, the money. We have another. Do we have a Giovanni battle? Don't we? Yeah, we do. Hmm. And you know what? I just realized. 
we're way over time, aren't we? We are way over time. No. -uh. Yep. Uh, oh, we're really. at 36 right now. Goodness, Dylan. Okay, yeah. you guys. If you guys enjoyed this episode of our Go Lock, please smash that like button first. Your support would be greatly appreciated. And with that, I've been the Phantom Michael. That's DJ Spindo. We're going to get the heckles out of here. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.